Let's take it back for a bit. I want a, I want a different ending. I don't want the bad ending. I want the good ending. They said we uh we gotta save uh save her. But fuck her. No fuck the lady. Let's help the let's help the vampire. Know what I am saying? Let's dance. Track down Damien. Blow itself didn't kill him. Bled to death afterwards. Another one. Damn it. Where's this Damien at? They broke formation. Ran. Find Damien. I think this is the ending I want. Hopefully we're gonna fight the vampire again. Well, he was easy though. We'll get it done. We'll get it. We'll get it. No doubt about it. Need to look around. Blow itself didn't kill him. Bled to death afterwards. They broke formation. Ran. <laughs> Eric, he put it in the street. Keep dodging. Gotta keep dodging. Oh, we should be safe. easier need to look around they broke 
formation ran. Barricade put up in the street. Why am I in the corner again? Show me what you got. Black blood. Shut me back a while. Huh? Again? That's stupid. We were just about to beat him, too. We were just about to beat him. Clawing at me. Black blood should not back a vial. Got your bitches. Let's go. Save. Fell on his face, struck in the back, tried to run.
All this for a better ending. All this for the better ending. We need the better ending. Must be in the back. They're keeping themselves inside. with the city won't help the city by leading your men to the slaughter Damien conversation back at the palace remember I'll say it again your men don't stand a chance to the wounded and prepare to march out doing the right thing now listen close silver that's what you want to use against vampires your alchemists order them to produce as much vampire oil as they can churn it out in gallons then coat your blades with it keep an eye out for alps and bruxe the shapely ones resemble women they're one moment gone the next bombs containing silver splinters are a pretty good idea Thank you, Witcher. I hope you're worth the coin the Duchess pledged you. And that you'll return with the head of the wretch that did this, skewered on a hook. Got a different plan. Hmm. And what would that be? All I can say just now is I'm gonna need Sianna. You know the Duchess's decision. Sianna awaits her trial, in custody. Yeah, I know it. Doesn't mean I have to agree with it. You've that luxury. I do not. I've sworn my loyalty to her grace. Folk are dying. Many more will, because of one. If her grace learns I helped you, my head will roll. And mine will come right after. Still willing to take the risk. See, I'm wasting my time here. Wait. When... When last I saw Sianna, her grace was escorting her to the palace playroom. Playroom? As in, for children? You sure? I've served in the Ducal Palace for years. I know it's every corner. So yes, I am damn sure. Playroom? So what, Duchess locked Sianna up in a dollhouse? Honestly, I've no clue. Look, I've told you what I saw. What you do with it is no concern of mine. Got it. I'll look into it. You get back to your barracks. Retrace my steps. Path ought to be clear. Got a signal, Regis. Have him join me. Uh, tell Regis to meet me in the palace. We need to get to the playroom. I mean, Ridge is at the palace. All right. Oh no. Killed all the monsters.
his dad's pussy. Oh my god! Hello? Not again? Hit him hard. Got him. Don't crash now, please. Don't crash now, please. I just think because if it crashed. We don't have to fight the monsters. We can just run past them. Is that a dragon? Regis. To summon me. I thank you wholeheartedly. Beyond the doors, the playroom. Found one of my brethren sniffing about. I made sure he'd stay out of our way. Locked. Of course. Regis. Rather not have a fist fight with this door. Would you mind? Not at all. service. Hmm. Utter silence. No one here. We should look around at least. You give me all your silverware. Give me all your silverware. A tin knight. A rocket major tableware. And plush toys. Cute. Wooden duck. Somebody broke its wings off. Nice tune. Indeed. Pleasant. It's a shame the mechanism's damaged. What the? Found a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort, court governess. The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. Sienna gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. Perhaps not so much. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Sienna does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. <laughs> Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. The girls quarreled today. I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Sianna gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Anna Henrietta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His Grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Sianna and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Anna Rietta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. 
Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. I thought it said tables. <laughs> first we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa, who proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Rockfall wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. Cannabis rudelaris, for instance, or... Shh, don't interrupt. I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here. A specialist in illusions. Which means... Regis, last warning. Stop interrupting or I'll seat you in the corner. The girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables, and utter out loud the incantation, Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. Hmm. Realize this might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Sienna into that illusion. Not impossible. She would be safe there and isolated. We must see. Right. Where's that book locked? Hmm. Find the book. Nothing under the carpet. Did you expect something? Apart from the dust swept under there by a lazy chambermaid. Uh huh. What could this book be at? Find the book. You never know. Something inside? Nope, empty. in there somewhere what's behind this painting well well a key tucked behind a picture and I bet this opens up this door and we found the book baby huh. is it let's see Specto Ludum. Regis? Regis! What is this place? Land of a thousand fables. Incredible. Hmm. Let's see where this road takes me. Right, this place is beautiful. Follow the yellow I brick road. Is going wild. The whole land's an illusion. It's so powerful, there's no way to dispel it. Sir, 
Damn it. And this is a playground for two little girls? Something's not right. Something ain't right. Bloody hell, mm. let him out! Voices. He gobbled up my gingerbread! Theory. You wouldn't want me to get cross. Then you open it. Now, who's this? A lost traveler? You're not supposed to be here, sweetie. Why, you're old. Old and pale. But never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice. And you'll make a tasty morsel. Just as soon as I catch you. Come now. You cannot possibly fear a few magical plants. That even mean what what the hell was that the wicked witch you've heard of her haven't you now where did you put that key listen I how do you come by a weapon it's Prince Charming's he no longer needs it here it is It's been years, Jack. Have you come to play? No, I just want your beans, so you can breathe easy. Breathe easy? Because you aren't here to play? What's that about? Jack knows what I mean, so he'll tell me where the beans are as fast as he can. Isn't that right? Sienna, I, I, I'm sorry, but, but I haven't got them. Something tells me you're lying. Perhaps you wish to play the old games after all, hmm? This little picky went to market. This little picky went home. For instance. I'm telling the truth. I swear it. Anarietta, she ordered them buried all over so you wouldn't be able to leave. Where? I... I don't know. B but just... The boy with the thing for wolves. He should know. He sticks his nose in everyone's affairs. He had better know. Because if not, I'll find you and we'll have ourselves a little talk. Understand? Now shoo. Ah, all right. So why is it you're here? Came to free you. Nice of you, but a waste of your effort. I plan to free myself. You might, you might not. Bound to be easier with my help, as our most recent adventure amply showed. Mm-hmm. 
Yet I still don't know why you even give a damn. It's Devlin. He's trying to force Anna Henrietta's hand. Wants her to release you. Summoned monsters to attack Beauclair. Sounds like Detloff, all right. But I doubt you came all this way just to bring me up to speed on current events. So get to the point, please. Isn't it obvious? Offering to be your ally. We both want you out of here. You because you want your freedom back. Me because as soon as you meet with Detloff, he'll put an end to the chaos in the city. You exposed me. I landed in prison because of you. Now you've come to beg my help, I dare say. My life is full of surprises, isn't it? Well, normally I'd tell you to sod off. But, from what you say, folk are dying who have nothing to do with this. Not part of the plan. Detloff was only to kill those who deserved it. No one else. Fine, Witcher. I accept your offer. Consider us allies. Shake on it. This place... Tell me something more. It's an illusion, right? Yes. Created by Arturius Vigo. Anna, Henrietta, and I would come here to play out scenes from our favorite fables. Which didn't seem like she was playing. Magical entropy. Without maintenance, the spell gradually disintegrates over time. It grows wild. Your sister chose a dangerous place for your prison. It's deceptive. Provided I don't provoke them, the fairy tale characters don't attack me. But you, you don't belong here. So you had best be on your watch. Since you brought it up, the knights Detloff killed. What exactly did they do to you? Crespi, Dulac, Lacroix, Peyrec Perrin? Not a memory I enjoy revisiting, but I suppose you deserve to know. When my parents disowned them. DJ, what's good, bro? They ordered those very knights to escort me beyond the duchy's borders. All did so without uttering a single word in my defense. Like you said, they had their orders. Mm -hmm. But Crespi was not ordered to beat me. Yo, DJ, that was some funny shit you showed me. That was just some funny shit you showed me. So when did you to get swole? Conscious with a horsewhip after my first attempt at escape. And you like had no instructions to deny me food and abuse me. I learned something then. Knights are not so chivalrous when no one's watching. That explains a lot. Shocked, aren't you? You must have thought you had me pegged. Before bothering to hear my side. Everyone. Sure. You, 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 can, you can send me that. You can send me that. Yes, sir. Alright, back to the game. That. Curse of the Black Sun. That's why you were banished, right? Mm-hmm. Twisted princesses, mutants. I'm certain you've heard of us. Even met one of you, Renfrey of Craden. And? Was she truly monstrous? She was cruel, that's certain. But what caused it? The curse or what she went through? Asking myself to this day. You killed her, didn't you? Had no choice. Funny. Mum said the same when she tossed me out of the house. So, what's with the beans? Mind explaining? Hmm, certainly. But you must gird yourself with patience. We got patience. There are two ways out of this land. My darling sister blocked one when she tossed me in here. The other's up there, in the clouds. She made it hard, but not impossible to access by concealing the beans. Still don't understand. Don't fret, just listen. That boy, that was Jack, of Beanstalk fame. You know the tale? Jack climbed a gigantic beanstalk to a giant's castle, high up in the clouds. As we shall do if we can just find those blasted beans. There are three. One red, one blue, one yellow. Hmm. Stalk won't sprout from just one? No, because it must transpire exactly as it did in the tale. Clear now? So we must find Joss. Perhaps he will be able to help us. You lead. All right, we move. We move.
Joss can usually be found wandering the glade at the foot of the mount. It's some distance from here, past the witch's house to the right. So, what exactly is happening in the city? Massacre. Bloodshed. A massacre. Which is why we gotta hurry. Sphere from intruders, meaning you. Intruders? But oh, we're unicorns! Unicorn. We must catch them. We won't have to walk everywhere then. I call the pink one. Exciting, isn't it? Reminds me of my childhood. Reminds me of something altogether different. Care to elaborate? <laughs> this small bitch. Over. No, it's not. There's more. Another wolf behind you. Ignore him. He always lies. Aha. Uh -huh. Boy who cried wolf. Still does, I suppose. And doesn't. When they actually appear. The one and only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything. Not one thing. And besides, watch out. Wolves! This'll be interesting. Right, let's get to it. Let's say for a minute you know what happened to the Red Bean. Where wouldn't it be? For certain, no one swallowed it. Oh no, definitely not that. Of course not. But say someone didn't. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human. The most human human in the land of a thousand fables. Everyone! Wolves! Run! Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue beam. Maybe? Not at all? Right? I've heard it lies about somewhere, out in the open. Just like that? No one guarding it? Nobody! Three times over! Help! Wolves! Yellow beam. Don't know a thing about it, right? Somewhere very, and I mean very deep. So deep, in fact, it's completely underground. And who has it? Hmm? A bold farmhand, who in no way and not at all awaits someone. Not in the slightest. Good folk! Wolf! Say that word one more time and I'll chop you up. Feed you to the fishes. Understood? She's mad. We need the beans, though. All right, we should go. Watch out for wolves! <laughs> Watch out for wolves! Tough to talk to, that one. Was it, though? You need merely remember he always lies. Or more precisely, refers us the truth. Mm -hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. We should visit some of the other fables. The meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few. 
Red Riding Hood, Piglets and Bears, three of each, and Goldilocks, of course. Then Longlocks, and a little lass who sells flint. Ah, fine. Let's get to work. Incredible. You must have loved this place. I did at first. But children get bored quickly. Even tea parties with a whole cackle of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. What did you do then? Dropped a duck egg in the swan's nest once. That sort of thing. Stole the pee out of the princess. He sleeps to this day, I think. <laughs> Three stools, three beds, three bowls. One a bit too big, the other too small, the third just right. Blonde curls. Rest of the body's too mutilated. Hard to say anything. She got what she deserved, as I see it. Always took what she wanted without asking. No being here. Gotta keep looking. Someone! I shall butcher you! From our bowls. Yeah, I should have not did that. Mama's house. Big Mama's house. <laughs> Hello? Can we talk? Watch my head! Damn it all! I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard. Oh, Fiona. A bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the table. But, 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 what brings you? You can always have a drink with us. Oh, what now? Not on your life. I can barely stand, I'm so hungover. You know what they say about the hair of the dog? Out of the question! And why must you drink? Do you wish to drown some sorrow? And I don't mean to pry, but you don't look much like a young duchess to me. They stripped me off my title and birthright, then banished me. A family spat, let's say. Listen, looking for magic beans. Seen any? Mm, I was given one for safekeeping, but... Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Uh, right there, the threats. Sianna to a T. Listen, I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige. But it won't be easy. The thing is, little red riding hoods popped her clogs. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks, and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp for all her loving labor. Good <laughs> now, what's at the bottom of the well? She and the hunter, which means we can't play, and I'm under no obligation to talk to you, not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sod off. So, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him. Or rather, play him. 
I just need that little red hood. A piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. That's a relief. You wish to help me? Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish it out. Well, chop chop. Time to jump in the well. Break a leg. Hopefully not. Now we gotta make our way back. Get it. <sighs> the fuck is that? Not? Yep, look what I got. That would never fit you. Give it to me. How do I look? Sorry. Don't know much about fashion. Yes, it shows. Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And you, the hunter. You again? I thought that was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you. Not a problem. Siana can take her place. What? <sighs> Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> Granddaughter, come closer, sweetie. But, Grandmama, what big eyes you have. They're better to see you with, my dear. Granny, what big arms you have. They're better to embrace you with, my dear. And, Grandmama, what big teeth you have. Eh? They're better to eat you with, my dear. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not bad. I don't have any strategy here, I'm just spamming attack. To do better. Joss said about the red bean. A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm hmm. Gotta open his belly. Bottle caps, fake teeth, the corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Red bean. Well then, one step closer to our goal. What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. Are you really not interested in what happened? In what became of me after they cast me out? Well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear the rest. Let's see. 
And escorted you out of the duchy. Yes. And the noble knights of Toussaint and I didn't stop until we reached the Ketu wilderness. They left me there alone, without a copper, in a torn lace dress, right when the frosts were setting in. They assumed something would eat me, or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, gnawed the bark from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees, a campsite. They were bandits, bearded, drunk, spattered with blood. I was sure they'd rape me or kill me, or both. Take it neither happened? That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They took me in, we set off for Nazaire, and I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly, and eventually I became their leader of the whole ragged band. Been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and shagging minstrels on down bedding. She wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry at her for that. I'm angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. We've had our chat. Come. This is a good place to end the episode. See you later.